Welcome to PC Wits Kids Weekly Answer Back, episode number 21. Today we're looking at some more common questions from you guys, starting with one that I've been getting quite a bit regarding your laptop keyboard, for example. You've been pressing some keys and all of a sudden now you get numbers instead of letters. So the common answer for that is that you've pressed the function numlock key combination. You've pressed the key combination on your keyboard. The FN key, for example, um, enables the numbers on your keyboard. So if you press that key combination again, you'll disable it. So look for the FN key on your keyboard and then look for the numlock on the top right corner usually and then press those at the same time to disable it. Another question that I've been getting is about your wireless connection that drops randomly. In order to fix that, I would start off easy by just changing the channel in which your router is running and broadcasting. So um, by default, if it's set to 6, change it to 1 or 11. Change the channel number. That's the easiest thing that you can do in your settings of your router. And then restart your router after you save your settings and see if that makes a difference. Okay? It doesn't matter what type of router you've got. You should have that option. Another option uh, question that I've been getting is regarding the Windows Task Manager and the processes. And you're wondering if they're Trojans or viruses and so forth. And there's just too many to, to really list in one video. So what I've done is I put together an article... You can go there and look at the different tasks and then see if um, I've been able to find the ones that you need answers for in that article. Another question that I've been getting is about removing a second OS like Ubuntu. First thing that I would do is go into Windows Disk Management and delete the partition that you have that second OS on, so like Ubuntu. After you've deleted it, well, basically it's gone, right? But now you've got that dual boot menu still happening there when you boot up your machine, right? So you want to get rid of that. In order to get rid of that, you boot up your machine with the Windows DVD, okay, the install DVD, and then choose the repair option. And then when you choose the repair option, when you boot up from that DVD, go to the command prompt and then type bootrec.exe space forward slash fixmbr. You basically want to do an F disk and reset the master boot record so that way it removes that uh, Ubuntu menu, dual boot menu, and it goes straight into Windows. Okay, so there you go. Some common questions answered, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.